What's up guys, Jacob Owens here today and due to popular demand through your guys questions, comments and messages on Instagram, I'm doing a tutorial on how I did a couple effects in the new futuristic I want it, I get it music video. Uh, in particular, this jersey shot right here where all the jerseys switched and then some of the uh, particular color changes in the different outfits that he was wearing were like the color shift and whatnot. So first, let's get into the jersey thing since that was the most highly requested thing. Um, so first off, to shoot this, you have to shoot it a certain way to edit it this way. And what I did is for this shot right here, I had him simply stand in the same position. I marked his feet and I had him not move at all. I had him say the lyric, jersey game is on fleek, then he would not move. I would come into frame. We would he would take off the jersey. I'd put give him a new jersey. He'd put on that new jersey and stand in the same exact position. And then we'd record him saying the same line again. I don't know, we did this around ten times because I repeat a couple jersey shots in here. Um, and we just did it so it's time consuming. You had to shoot the shot, make sure to switch jerseys, not move, get in the same position, and shoot it again. And so when it came to editing. All I did is simply take the shot, and I think the shots last about two frames. Yep. So one, two, and then it switches. One, two, and it switches. One, two, and it switches. And I synced up each shot so that it would be in sync with the lyrics. Jersey game on fleek, and then I would take two frames of each jersey and then switch it to the next shot. So you can see sometimes his head position changes a little bit, and the light changed a little bit. Uh, just because the light coming through the window so and so that's how we did that shot it's super easy it's just more about how you shoot it uh, we shot it so he wouldn't move you know take two frames one shot and move on to the next so when you watch it back it's like everything's changing really quickly and then now to get into the color changes on his outfits so we'll start with the pants right here because this is a pretty obvious one so you can see the obvious color change in the pants and only the pants is affected and how this is done is pretty easy in premiere you just go to the effect color change color you drag change color onto the clip and then you simply solo out a color so for this one um Let's see here. I think I soloed out. Yep. So we'll just start it over. And so I can show you from the start. So we'll go to the start of the clip. This is the dropper tool. You're going to pick the color to change. So in this case, I wanted the shorts to change. So dropper tool, and you can see how that changed to the light blue. I'm going to set these keyframes for the hue, lightness, saturation. I'm just going to set all these keyframes. Sorry about that. So we got the keyframe here. We're going to go to the end and set a, another keyframe for the hue transition. And then simply, we're going to change the hue of that color. But first, there's two things you can do. You can do it so the matching colors using RGB or hue. I switched it to hue, so it would simply focus on the hue of the color. Um, so we go here, and I'm just going to drag this. And you see as I drag it, it's changing. So I could go a full 360 degrees, so it'll end up back to its original color. And if we were to let that play out, you simply see the color go through its full range of hue changes all the way back to its original color. And that's really it. That's as simple as that was. And you can, you can mess with these other dials if you want to increase the um, saturation like so it's like desaturated or super saturated um, so now if I were to play it back it's extra saturated but the more you boost that saturation uh, the more it gets a little you can kind of see pixelated and whatnot so same thing with this jacket shot this was one of the shots where if you watch in the video it is constantly changing throughout the whole shot but a little more subtly I stacked them yeah so you can see I have like one two three different color changes um, that I just soloed out different colors on. So one of them, I soloed out, I think this top color right up here. Another one, I soloed out this pink color. And so you can add these and stack them to change multiple colors within the shot because like I said, you're soloing out one color when you pick this dropper tool. So if I take off, let's see here, 
um, this purple one because that appears to be this one. If I take that off, yep, so the jacket went back to its original color. But I have it soloed, I have this purple color soloed so that any purple would constantly change throughout the shot. And so yeah, that's I mean that's pretty much it. You just keyframe it. You use this change change color effect. You keyframe the color changes and you solo out individual colors and that is how you do a soloed out color change um, effect. Again, drop a like, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you made it this far, you're an OG. Appreciate y'all. I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds and I'm out.